right. Hey guys, um, I am coming to you from my recliner. I don't have a couch anymore, um, but I do have my own recliner. And this is usually where I'm sitting when I'm doing art. Um, and uh, you all wanted to know what was in my pencil bag. <laughs> so I thought I would do a little video and show you all what I have in there. Um, it's been a while. This might not be the cleanest video, the most professional looking video, but honestly, I'm at that point right now where anything is better than nothing. And I'm still trying to fight against those um, perfectionist impulses that I have. So um, yeah, so this is my space. Um, got a painting I did there, that one I did. These my mom drew and I found them. And then that, whoop, let's see, that is the edge of um, a pastel portrait that was done during a uh, reading up in Sedona. So it was pretty cool. Uh, stained glass lamp was dad's. That's where all of the art supplies I have go. So all of them are in there or else there's a cart behind me. That's one of those carts from uh, Michael's and uh, it has like all my paint, uh, spray paint, acrylic paint, um, mediums, like that kind of stuff. So I'm not huge on acrylic painting lately. I'm trying to do anything that I can do easily in my recliner that doesn't cause a lot of mess because I might start something, come back to it. Um, I get really overwhelmed thinking about like, um, like I used to sprawl when I would do art and I would just like take over the whole table and there would be supplies everywhere. And that's all fun and good and fantastic, you know? Um, but I'm tired. I work full time. I'm dealing with chronic migraines that might be from a, a spinal fluid leak in my brain or the pressure might be wrong and that's causing it. So um, I can't sit up like this very long. And so after doing, you know, eight hours a day, I, I'm not like at my desk, I'm not in the place or the mood or the space to um, really do anything that takes a lot of sprawl. Like when I work on resin stuff, like that has to be a commitment because you need a space for that. And it just, you know, I, I, it just depends on how I'm feeling that day. If it's the weekend, if it's during the week. But during the week, I like to do art. Um, I like to do it during my breaks because um, then I have 15 minutes and, you know, when it's over, it's over. But, you know, there's not a lot else you can get accomplished in 15 minutes. Don't tell that to laundry that takes four days to get done and put away. Um, so I wanted to keep everything to basics and I wanted to make it so that I could really explore and have color but not have like a ton of supplies. And this actually, um, if I took stuff out of it, my um, book would fit inside of there. Um, so I, um, I'm really happy with it. I'm um, really, uh, I know that next time I travel, this is what I'll grab. Um, and, and, you know, cause I always travel and bring a ton of art supplies and they take up a lot of room in my luggage, but this I would put in my carry on with my book and, um, this, which is, um, an art light that you can put on your desk and you can work, you know, low light in the middle of the night. Or if you have a migraine, you can angle it down so that it's showing on your book or your art, but it's not, um, like in your eyes, like this light is right now. So anyway, I'm going to move the camera and uh, introduce you to my friend, the table. Um, it's a medical table that, you know, goes under your bed or under your chair or right in front of it, which is where it is right now. And uh, show you uh, what I've got in the pencil bag. All right, so this is the bag. Um, it's a Delphonics, it's the medium. Got this on Amazon for $13. The strap is actually for a different pencil case. I had someone ask about that, but this bag comes with the things on the edges to uh, attach any strap. So I do have like an old purse that I'm thinking of grabbing the strap off of. It's thicker and cute and uh, shorter. Anyway, um, we're gonna start with the front. So this is pretty much what I use when I do art. So I've got, this is um, a sign pen. It's got this kind of tip. 
Um, this is great for drawing. Um, I like to do a lot of drawing with ink and brushes. So I've got a pocket pen, a pastel one, a pencil. This is a gray graphic because um, I like to write in gray. And then this is a Signo 207 Uniball to write with because I can watercolor over it. I can watercolor over any of the, well, not the pencil, but any of these pens, they won't um, smudge or anything. I've got a clip to keep my book open. And the front two pockets are for washi tape. Get these all out. I'm gonna show you how many rolls fit in here. Okay, I think that's, nope, there's more. Okay, so here's all the washi tape that fits in there. So I've got a couple thin ones. These two are my favorite and I have no idea where I got them. Um, I love this one with the stars and then three regular rolls. So all of this fits in the front two pockets. So I try to keep all the thin ones together just so like I know what's in each pocket so I can get in there and get it. So a lot of these are scotch tape ones because I feel like those work the best. So let me put these back in here. This is like a new tape that I started using so it doesn't kind of fit. It kind of just kind of hangs out. Anyway, here I have, this is a Dear Lizzie date stamp from forever ago. I want to say looking at the years, 2010 is when I got this. <laughs> and I have a pink stamp pad um, because I do write in my journal and I do date it. So I like to do it in pink. Also, there's some cool uh, effects on this so that I can stamp all over. Um, I do have this in black that I use a lot too, but the pink one is the one that I keep with me. Okay, then this pocket is collage pocket. So it has a pair of small scissors, a tape runner, and a small Yoohoo stick. Um, this is the best glue stick I've ever used, best tape I've ever used, and I love these scissors because they're pointed so you can get in there really, really um, like details. All right, so the back is collage papers. So um, some of these I've made, I've got some stickers, I've got some other ones, I've got stuff I found in magazines in here. Um, it's really just a collection of all kinds of stuff. I mean, like here's a Tokidoki tag, some scraps. Um, I did have it in like a pencil case in here, but that took up too much room and this pocket works perfect. Like nothing seems to escape from it. So I just kind of stick that in there. And then these go in the back because they're the biggest ones. I don't have anything in the back back pockets. And that's because like if I go out or something, I want to be able to like stick my credit card or something in there or ID. And then, um, you know, just kind of run out the door. All right. Inside the magic. So this is a Pentel brush. This is what I draw mostly with. Um, these are um, Archer and Olive Acrylograph um, pens. Uh, what did I call it? Um, uh, acrylic paint pens. They're 0.7 tip. Um, I have two sets. They have a blender pen. So like if it comes with like a blending plate and you can actually blend colors to make your own. Um, but I got the tropical and I think like the warm fall colors and that's good for me. And each set came with a white, so I have an extra white. I like these because I can write with these, I can journal with these, I can add details, I can draw. Um, they're small enough that I have paint pens in here so I don't have to carry any paint pens. Um, over here, I've got my Stabilo pencil, I've got my fountain pen, uh, my Lamy Safari pop fountain pen. I've got, you know, white, gold, and black. Um, these are white markers that I made with um, Holbin Ultra Opaque White Ink, which Kelly Kilmer um, wrote about and I love. So I've got two of those in here. And then one of them is also uh, masking fluid. Um, this is also Jelly Roll Glaze. It can be used as masking fluid as well with watercolors. I have a tiny ruler and then this pencil, which is um, a Uni Curatoga. The nice thing about this is this inside here, every time you pick the pencil up, it twists. So you don't get like that slanted, uh, it doesn't like get dull on you. So if you wanna do like really precise drawings or something or writing, then this is definitely the pen for you. All right, this 
is my watercolor palette and why I waited so long because I was carrying two palettes in there and I wanted to wait until I got this um, so that I could have all of my paint in one palette. So this is honestly a combination of um, Prima, a couple Prima sets, um, uh, some colors from Jane Davenport sets, and then you can see these messy ones that don't look the same as the others, all of these. Oh, that paint's great, really didn't have that much in there, did it? Um, I make myself. So uh, I had a friend who had a friend who donated a bunch of watercolor tubes. Um, so I made a bunch with those. And then, you know, like I found my favorite colors, like this is my favorite yellow. Um, and then I have the Daniel Smith, um, they're the mineral ones. So these darker ones. Um, and then this one, which is like my favorite green, it's this here. Um, and so I, I made with those, I found those on clearance. So this, okay, so with that, you use water brushes. So these are new, these are Arteza um, water brushes. What I like is that there's three sizes of the round brush and three sizes of the flat brush, including one that goes all the way up to here, which I'm surprised isn't dyed with ink. I think this one is. I think this is the one I use, yeah, with the ink. You can see it kind of getting in there. Um, I just got these. I'm really picky with art brush, water brushes. I love that, that it's push here and it's soft. I don't need anything hard because of my hands and um, I have nerve issues and stuff. So sometimes things will fall out of my hands. So having something soft to push is really ace for me, water brushes. And then um, I have this. This is um, Holbein acrylic ink. So it's fluid and it's white to mix with the ac acrylics. And then I also have in here um, a tube of white gouache, uh, acrylic gouache. So I can mix those with the watercolors and make more permanent layers. Um, I use them to lighten the colors. Um, and so you can get kind of like a painterly vibe out of everything. And that that's pretty much the entire pencil case. The only other thing that I use that doesn't go in there is the um, Phil Martin Black's um, ink. I'm very careful with black ink. I've spilled it on the carpet before, so it does not go in anywhere. It stays on the table um, with a water bottle cap that I use to um, put the ink in. So that stays there. Um, and then of course I have the Otlight that I showed you. Um, this used to fit in there, but now that I have the bigger watercolor palette, it does not. So um, it just stays on the table with it. And um, so this table that I'm on, this is um, like a hospital table. And so what I can do is um, pull it up to my bed and pull it over my bed so I can work in bed on my computer, on my artwork. And then um, it's in front of here, like a um, TV tray right now in front of the recliner. And then when the recliner's up, I can actually put it in this position so it's over the leg part and I'll tilt it so that, you know, it gets right next to me. And then that way I have a stable surface to put my supplies on because I usually have my journal on my lap. Um, where'd I put you, buddy? This is my book. Um, it has this because um, I use it to keep the pages open. Um, but I'm going to start doing videos on this. I've gone back to what I used to do, which was um, everything in one book. So I've got my planner, I've got notes, uh, I've got artwork, all goes in the book. This is um, uh, from Notebook Therapy, which is kind of like the China version of a um, Archer and Olive. I love it um, because the paper is good enough to take all of this media, but the paper also like lends it to writing. So I don't feel bad writing poems or writing just random journal entries that aren't pretty looking or anything in addition to doing art. So that is the mystery of Sam's pencil bag. Oh, I forgot. I do have some um, mild liners in here and I do have one Jane Davenport brush because I like using that. Um, and uh, I think I'll put this in there first and then the other stuff. So I just lay this down and kind of shove it in. <laughs> there we go. I mean, and there's still room for pens and stuff in there. So like these will go on top. That'll go on top. That goes in that pocket. Then you zip it all up. I've got a little Toki Doki keychain on there. And there you go. Ready to go. Make some art 
feel like it's got everything I need and uh, I've got to stop shoving stuff in it because it's pretty much at its limit. I do have a smaller one, um, but the point is to get everything I need in, in one in one case so I can just keep this on my desk and have everything I need. So thank you for watching. I hope this filmed right and uh, see you later.